everyone, I'm Michelle Smith and welcome back to my channel. I have a large Dollar Tree haul for you today. In today's shopping adventure, I scored again when I went into um, a couple of my local stores. They had just restocked some more Halloween and some more fall items. So I was very excited. I was able to find some of my wish list items this time. So uh, yes, in the haul, I have a few Halloween, I have some fall, and I have crafting items. Um, not necessarily from Crafter Square, but throughout the store, but they were bought for crafting. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. I will start up in the front, of course, with uh, fall this time. I was really excited. They had restocked these really pretty yard stakes that were pumpkins. So I was able to find the other two colors that they have. Now the first ones that I found, they were kind of white and they had a little bit of yellow on them. Those are the only ones I've been able to find for a long time because these two keep filling out. So I think this one is really pretty. I love that kind of coppery look to it and I love the metallic leaves as well. And then this one's a little bit more of your traditional orange pumpkin with your green leaves. But I was really excited to find these so I did go ahead and pick up one of each of those. Now this next item was one of the items on my wish list and I finally found it. It took me a long time. I have been to several stores, but I finally found it. And it is the long sign with all the pumpkins that say, welcome. I think they did a beautiful job on this one. I really like all the detail, all the different colored pumpkins. Really, really pretty piece. So I did pick up two of those. Now this is the first time I found these in any of my stores, so they were brand new to me. I know I've seen a few other people haul them, but this is the first time I've seen them. And they are already made bows. And these are for fall. You get two in a pack. They do come with a little twisty tie. So if you wanted to tie it onto a wreath or maybe a floral package or something along those lines, you can do that. You can always hot glue them on too. So I found this one, which I thought was really pretty. It does have some glitter in it, but I really like the neutral colors with just that little splash of blue. And then I found this one, which I thought was really pretty, and it has that little blue truck on it. And in the back of the truck has little pumpkins. This one you'll also get too. And again, it comes with the little twisty ties. So that was a really nice find. I have not seen these in my stores before. Another new find for fall, which uh, again, I've seen other people haul, but they finally made it to my store. And these are called Harvest DIY Pins, and you get six in a package. So these are just little leaves. They come on like a mini clothes pin. And I thought, you know, these would be really nice. Uh, you could clip these on and redo them and put each individual person's name, whoever's coming for a Thanksgiving dinner. You can put their name on it and then clip it onto maybe their glass or maybe onto a little plant or something that you have at their place. Or like I said, you can clip it onto their glass, maybe onto the stem so that nobody loses their, their glass. But I also found these for Thanksgiving, just plain little pumpkins. And they are made of wood and you get six in a pack. Now, I was really surprised to see these. I thought they were very pretty. Uh, they have their little tea light holders, and they had a couple different colors to choose from, but they all have this really pretty kind of coppery leaf. Now, the leaf is, is very thin, but it has lots of really nice detail. I did go ahead and pick up two of those. It would be nice just on uh, your Thanksgiving table, or you can work them into a center arrangement. And uh, they did have some other colors, I think clear and maybe green and something else, I'm not sure. And then I found this, and this you can actually use for either Halloween or for Thanksgiving. 
and it's just one of the mason jars on one of the hooks here, the little wire hangers, and it's an orange jar. So I thought that was really pretty. You could do a lot of different things with this. I have a couple different ideas. I don't know if I'm going to go to the fall side or to the Halloween side with this one. But I thought it was really pretty, so I picked that up. I did go ahead and grab another roll of this really pretty ribbon. Now this is their two and a half inch by, let's see, five yards, I believe. Uh, excuse me, nine feet. And it's the cream and kind of off red. I think this is really pretty. This would be really nice too for Christmas. I picked up another roll of that. Now, I've seen these at Dollar Tree. They've had them for years. I picked them up a couple years ago and used them in a display. I decided to go ahead and pick up some more for the same reason. And they're just these little small uh, hay bales. Now, these aren't the mini ones. I've been looking for the mini ones. I still have not found them. But I thought these would look really pretty. I did pick up three of them. So you can kind of stack two and then stack one on top. I thought it would be really cute in kind of a little small fall display. So I picked up three of those. I'm sure they'll be a little bit messy, but that's okay. Now this next item, I was so excited. I have been looking since the very first time they put out any fall items for these, and I finally found them. And what are they? They are the fall gnome stickers. The first person that I saw haul these, I thought, oh, I know exactly what I'm going to do with those. I hope I can find them. And I have looked and looked and looked, and I finally found them. They had just put out a whole new package of these. So these came in that package. Very cute. Super fun. I did pick up two. And then these also came in that package, which I thought was really pretty. All the different colored pumpkins, a little bit more non-traditional. <laughs> so I did grab two packages of that one as well. Let's see, you get 14 in this one, and the gnome stickers, you get nine pieces. And then this one also came in the same clumping of stickers. You get 14 in this one, and this is just sweet for fall. Really, really pretty pictures and designs. Lovely. Absolutely love them. And again, I picked up two. So that was a really nice find. Another one on my wish list that I found. So that made me super happy. Now I did purchase one of these earlier. I decided uh, after I used it that I really liked it and I thought it could be a very versatile piece. So I went ahead and picked up the rest of them. Now this is the one that I picked up previously. It is a farm, excuse me, it is a framed fall decor piece. They come with the little beads on the top and the beads are easy to remove if you don't want to use the beads, but I think that just adds that perfect little touch. So this is the first one. It has that pretty leaf and it says happy fall. I did make a wreath out of this. I will link that wreath at the end of this in case you didn't catch it. And then these were the other two. Now these two uh, have sayings on them. It says, all year long, I dream of autumn. I thought that was really sweet. Now these I bought because I'd like to redo. I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to redo them, but I think that they are super cute. This one says, autumn leaves and pumpkins, please. But I really like the colors of the frame. It's it has that faux uh, texture of wood on it and then the cute little beads to hang it. And it is a picture frame. So it's easy to remove the backing and then you can put whatever you want on the inside and you can custom it. Of course, you can paint the frame, you can paint the beads, you can customize it any way you'd like. So I thought those would be such a nice versatile piece. I could use that for any holiday. So I did pick up one more each of those. Now, I also did go ahead and pick up two more of the carvable pumpkins. I really do like these. I had pretty much used everything that I had in my stock, so I've slowly been adding more and more. I have so many ideas. I'm sure I won't get to all of them. <laughs> but you can use these for not only um, Thanksgiving, you can use them for Halloween, and also for Christmas. So I picked up two more of your trusty, handy carvable pumpkins. Okay, so that was all of the fall items that I picked up on this trip. 
Now let me share with you some of the Halloween items. Now I also found a package of the Halloween DIY pins. This one you only get four pieces and these are the cute little bats. I thought those were really cute. Now on the, these I would probably pop those bats off, paint them and use them on something else. But I still thought they were super cute. So I grabbed a package of those. And then I was so excited when I saw this that it was really cute. And actually, I bought one of these to do it with. And it is a pumpkin decor kit. And it's super cute. You know I had to buy it. It is a black cat. Isn't that cute? So the package comes, of course, not with the pumpkin, but all of the things to add. Gives you all the stuff to add little felt ears and the stickers to add for the face. So I'm going to use this on one of these and see how it comes out. But I thought that was so adorable. And you know how much I love cats. Pretty much anything cat, as long as it's cute and not creepy, I'm in for it. So that was super fun to find. They did have uh, several other packages. They had, I think, a llama and uh, a mummy and a couple other things. So uh, that would be really fun, especially if you have little ones that you're not really secure about them using any kind of cutting instrument. You could get something like that, have them paint their pumpkin, and then decorate it that way so it's a little bit safer for them. Now, I was really happy to find these. This was another thing on one of my wish lists, and they are the new DIY stickers for Halloween. Now, they have uh, a couple different ones to choose from, and like I said, these are brand new. I have not seen these in the past, and this one I absolutely love. It has some spiders and some bats. That really cute witch there, and I love the little haunted house. So I picked up uh, two packages of that one. And then this one says Boo, and it has all different types of skulls on it. I could only find one of these. So I just grabbed the one. And then this one I thought was really cool. Um, it has all different types of jack-o'-lanterns on it, some with your traditional face, and some have a black bat in the middle. And some are painted, and some are just the raw wood. So I did grab two packages of those. I'm so happy that they finally changed it up. You know, I like that they do something new, and then they give it to you for about three or four years, and then they change it, which I like. Because after about three or four years, it's been saturated. Everybody's used it. We're ready for something new. So thank you for updating those. That makes me happy. Now, I picked up uh, two stems of these. Uh, I picked up some in the black in the past, and this time I decided to pick up some in the purple. And they are these roses that have eyeballs in them. Now, these roses, the roses are purple, but the leaves and the stems are still black. You also get a little bit of a spider there. So I did go ahead and pick up two of those. I thought they were so pretty. And I'm sure I can work them into a wreath at some point. Or maybe a centerpiece. Now this next item, this is the first time I have seen them at the Dollar Tree. Now last year I found these at the 99 cent store. And they were not 99 cents. So it was nice to see these at the Dollar Tree. And these are lace table runners. In black. And they are pretty long. Okay, so that... This is only half. That it's double. But look at how pretty. I'm like, ooh, I bet I could come up with some pretty crafts with that. So that's why I bought them. Um, last year from the 99 cent store, I did purchase, I think, one or two table runners and a mantle cover. And I absolutely love them. They are awesome. But I did go ahead and pick up two of the table runners. Now they had these on the plastic strips just kind of at the end of the um, row that had all the Halloween stuff on it. So I thought that was really cool. And I, I don't know if you've noticed, but ha uh, Dollar Tree has all new Halloween tagging. I think that is totally cool. I think it completely fits. And it gives you that retro feel, which is so in right now. So that was a nice find. Lots of things you can do with those. Okay, now this next item, I have to say this was another one I, that I had been looking for, and I'm so glad I found it. I absolutely love it. Um, I did buy like four or five of these, and they are the little skull candles. 
Now this whole skull is a candle. It has the little wick there up on the top. You can see the bottom of the wick there. But I love how they did these. So the outside is white, but it's the inside is filled. Now they had two different colors. They had this kind of lighter color that's a little bit more pink. So the outside looks a little bit more white. And then they had this one, which it's a lot more red rather than pink. And they come packaged like this with a little bow. But you can see how much darker this one is. And I thought, oh, I love these. So when you burn them, they're supposed to then the pink or the red will eventually drip out. I'm like, oh, how creepy. Love it for Halloween. So yeah, I picked up like four or five of these. I was so excited to find them. It took me a while. I had to search at several stores. And then I also found these and I thought they were really cute. Now they had several different colors to choose from and this is a candle as well. But this comes in a little jar so you can use the jar after. So they had it in the green, orange, I don't know if it was purple or black. You might have had both. But you just unscrew it. Doesn't really have a scent. You see it has the little wick there. But I thought that would be so cute. You know, how cute to put that in like a little gift basket or something if you have maybe a, um, a teenager or 20-something that you want to give them something for Halloween, but you don't want to just give them a bunch of candy. Something like this would be really nice to add to a little gift basket. Now, this next item is also brand new this year. Um, I didn't even know they were coming out with them. But it was nice to find, and they are Halloween trees. Now, they're the same size as they normally do, except the tree itself is actually black and orange. Let me open one up here. I did buy two because, you know, it is a Dollar Tree tree, so they're not very thick. So I usually uh, will put two together to make them a little bit thicker. And as you can see, the colors, it's orange and black mixed. And it does come with the little feet for the stand. But you can see it, it's their standard little trees, which is great for a dollar. I don't mind putting two together to make it look a little thick and full. But these are so cute. I, you know, for the longest time, they've sold do-it-yourself, you know, Halloween, Christmas, uh, Halloween ornaments and, you know, little things like that. They sell the little black and orange uh, bulbs and stuff, but they hadn't ever carried the trees until this year, so that's nice. There you go. See, it's not, it's kind of sparse, so I usually take two, and then I'll push everything to one side, and then I'll put the other tree right next to it, so it's double, and it looks so much better. But how fun for these. So I did pick up two of those. thought that was such a nice find. So that was all of the Halloween items that I found this week. So now let's go ahead and get into the items that I bought for crafting. Now these next two items that I picked up actually came from the toy area and I have been looking for these for a long time. Now when they first came out with these I saw them and I hemmed and hoed and hawed about picking them up. I picked them up, put them in my cart, I put them back and then when I finally decided I wanted them I couldn't find them. <laughs> I finally got them back in. Isn't that the story? And what are they? They are these cute little doll houses. Now, I've seen a lot of other people use these and do a lot of great creations from them. So um, I'm like, okay, I've got to get these and, and do my version. So they have two houses to choose from. They have this one. And it's actually really cute. You have your house, and then they have uh, little furniture and stuff for you to play with in the house. Now, they have that version, and then they also have this version. And I like both of them, and I think they will both be great. Now, you can use these. You can make, um, you know, Haunted Mansion. You can, I've seen uh, She's So Crafty has used these and made really cute sign, home sweet home sign, kind of farmhouse decor. I've seen other people uh, make, like, gingerbread houses. So there's so many different things that you can do with these. So I was super excited to see that they got them back in. If you are looking for them, check your stores again because they are restocking. So I did pick up one of each of those. So excited I finally found them again. You know, it's that thing. If, if I look at it, I'm trying not to buy too much stuff because I am a shopper. So 
saw I kind of hemmed and hoed and then I couldn't find it forever. And then it made me want it even more. <laughs> so I finally found them. I bought one of each. I'm happy now. Now this item is a new item. This is the first time I've seen these and they are MDF board little trucks. And they are unfinished. I think they are really nicely done. Uh, perfect to paint on. They are not wimpy at all. I did go ahead and pick up two. Now they only had this version kind of with the slats on the back. But in case I, you know, wanted to put two together, maybe to make a centerpiece or something, I did go ahead and pick up two of those. But that's the first time I've seen those in the Crafter Square section. So that was a nice find. Uh, now over in the candle section, I did pick up some of these, just their plain white pillar candles. I'm planning on doing a craft with these. I grabbed two of them. Now, if you can't find just the plain white ones, they do have several that have the plastic coating that has designs on them. You can always buy those and then just cut the plastic and take it off, and then you have your plain white candle underneath. So if you don't see the plain white candles and you want them, you can buy the others and just cut the design off. Just check to make sure that it is plastic and that it's not like a sticker on the glass. I did grab two of those. And then uh, I found some more of the new mesh. Now I will insert a picture of what the new box looks like and it shows all the colors. So I did go ahead and pick up some more of the white. Now uh, again, the new mesh is in the shrink wrap, so it's tightly wrapped. This is the old mesh. I did pick up some more uh, in purple, but this is how you can tell the difference. So the old mesh is wrapped in this really loose plastic, and the new mesh is shrink wrapped. Now, I've only seen the new mesh in their general box by uh, Floral Garden. That's usually over where they have their florals and their wreath forms and things like that. But that's what you want to look for is the shrink wrap. The deco mesh is finished on the sides and the um, weave is thicker than they're older. So it is a better mesh. Okay, so I picked up like four in the white and I did go ahead and pick up four in the purple. This is their old mesh. I'm sure that they're still gonna be carrying for a while a lot of the old mesh until they get it sold. And then I'm hoping that all of the new Crafter Square uh, mesh that they get in for the different seasons will be the new mesh. So that was really exciting to find. I love that I'm starting to see it like popping up in all of my stores. Now I bought this uh, paintbrush set in the past. You get seven and it just says brush set by Crafter Square. And these are pretty decent brushes as well. I do like them. That's why I'm buying another package of them. Um, I'm, I have to say I'm kind of bad about washing out my brushes. So they tend to dry with either Mod Podge or paint or something, and then I can't ever get them clean to where they work good. So that's why I like Dollar Tree paintbrushes, because if I mess it up, it doesn't hurt me. But if I pay $15 for a paintbrush and I do that to it, yeah, that hurts a little. <laughs> now, I also picked up, they had restocked all of the paper vinyl, Crafter Square paper vinyl. So this is their permanent and it is the black. So I went ahead and I picked up two in the black because I figured this is what I'm going to be using most of. And I've been thinking I'm coming up with some crafts to use this for where you don't need a Cricut machine. So that's why I bought those. And then I also found they had just replenished. Um, they put out a box of all the wood plaques. So I did pick up some more. I really like these. These are the nice thick. I mean, that's like three fourths to an inch thick. They have several different ones to choose from. This is kind of their um, rectangle. I did grab two of that one. I really like that one. I mean, you can use that as a base for another project. Of course, you can do it, um, you know, Mod Podge or paint or something, but there's a lot of good things you can do with it. And I love that it's so heavy duty, so wonderful for a base for a project. And then I also found these two, which I thought were really pretty. I liked their shapes. And again, this is the nice thick ones. And then they also had this one. 
I'm really happy to see that they're carrying a lot more uh, wood pieces and different shapes and plaques and thicknesses. Always makes us happy when we have more choices. And then I also picked up some more of the Crafter Square glue sticks. Now, I don't know if you've noticed, but they used to be 20 in a pack, and then they went to 16, and now I'm finding that they're back at 20, of course, which makes me happy. So I did go ahead and I restocked. I picked up three more packages. Now, I have tried this, and I have also tried the Sure Bonder glue. And uh, at first, I thought the Sure Bonder glue had less glue strings with it, but if you use it for a long period of time, if you're doing a project that the hot glue gun is on for a while you get the same amount of glue strings so i'm like you know what i'll just go back and keep using my dollar tree glue sticks well i hope you enjoyed that large dollar tree haul it was so exciting to go in and to see that they had restocked several items both in halloween and fall and that i was able to find several items on my wish list that i've been looking for for several months now so don't give up hope. Keep looking for those items. I'm sure at some point you'll find them. Thanks again for stopping by. You know it's always a pleasure to see you. If you enjoy craft tutorials and hauls, make sure to check these other videos out. You have a great day and I'll see you next time.